Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 2518. As always, these changes are available through their channel and while they're not tied to a specific release of Windows, they are expected to arrive in the next feature update in 2022. Some features may even arrive before through service packs. Ok, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 22518. On build 22518, Windows 11 introduces a Spotlight Collection a new feature that changes the desktop background automatically every day with a different picture around the world. The feature is similar to the spotlight for the lock screen and you can enable this feature by opening settings and then going to personalization and then background and right here on personalize your background you will find a new option called spotlight collection. When you enable spotlight an icon should appear on the desktop but I don't have it on my installation right now so I can show you a picture from Microsoft that you will see this icon right here which you can click to open Microsoft Edge to view more information about that picture. You can also change the picture. You also have the option to switch to another picture and you can mark it as liked or you can also select the option to dislike the picture. So in the future you get a more personal experience with the desktop backgrounds. Windows 11 is also updating the widget icon that appears on the taskbar. Starting with this release, the entry point will be located on the left side of the taskbar and it will now show the current weather information, similar to the widget available on Windows 10. And the widget's dashboard will now open as you hover over the icon. Also, if you have the taskbar aligned to the left, you will now see that the widgets icon will not appear next to the task view button. I'm really not sure if this is the right approach to place that icon for the widgets right at the bottom left corner. That's where the start button used to be and I can see a lot of people making the mistake clicking that button to open something that they might not like. Of course, if you don't like the button, you can disable it completely by going to the taskbar settings and then just disable the option. Now it's completely removed. But let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. Windows 11 build 22518 also has a new interface for switching inputs. So if you have multiple languages installed on your computer or different layouts, you will now find that you have a new interface that uses the acrylic background and according to the company, the updated interface improved the overall performance and reliability. Perhaps one of the biggest feature available on Windows 11 build 22518 is voice access. The new feature enables anyone to control their laptop or desktop computer using their voice. When using voice access, you can use your voice to open and switch apps, browse the web, dictate emails, and more. According to the company, voice access leverages modern on-device speech recognition to recognize speech accurately and is supported without an internet connection. To enable the feature, you need to open settings and then you need to go to accessibility and then you scroll down and on the speech section, you will see a new entry called voice access, which you need to turn on. Then you will get a prompt to download the packages to set up the feature. Voice Access even has a guide that will help you through the setup and getting to know the commands to control Windows 11 just using your voice. For example, here I can select the microphone. If I have different ones, you can select the one you want to use. You also have quick access to add a new microphone or to the sound settings. In the next page, you will find an option to start the guide which you can use to train yourself and know how to use the feature. And on the last page, you will find all the commands that you can use to start using the feature. Also on the speech page, you'll find an option that allows you to start a voice access as soon as the computer signs in. And one thing to be clear is that this feature only supports the English USA language 
which means that the Windows Display language should be English US, otherwise voice access will not work as expected. You can also use voice commands and keyboard shortcuts such as Alt-Shift-C and Alt-Shift-B to control whether voice access is listening or not listening. But one thing I want to say is that I've been trying to follow the steps to set up the feature, but the package never finishes downloading. I don't know if it is because it is too early. Microsoft just released this bill and the packages might not be downloadable at this time or maybe something's going on with the installation. Also, it's a pre-release, so I'm not expecting that it's going to work 100%, but I can get it to work. So if I press the microphone button, you can see that I can't use it until the speech model has been downloaded on the computer, but every time that I click the download button, nothing happens. So I will have to leave that for some other time. But once the feature is activated, you can say things like voice access, wake up, unmute to get voice access to start listening to you, or voice access sleep mute to put the voice access to sleep or turn off microphone to stop voice access from listening to you. When everything is configured, you can simply say things like open edge or open word to open an app or switch to or a close window and things like that to navigate the Windows experience just using your voice. Finally, the experience also includes this menu right here at the top right corner that lets you quickly set the default microphone, manage automatic options, and view the Microsoft privacy statements and to turn off the feature. On build 22504, Windows 11 introduced the ability to change the skin tone for different combination of emojis such as family members, people holding hands, and many others. But the feature was only available for a small group of users, so starting with build 20,518, the feature is not available to everyone. So now if you look for family, you will see the group of emojis, which you can now select and select the member of the family and change the skin tone and other aspects. And that's pretty much all the biggest features available on Windows 11 build 22518. There are other smaller changes and fixes, and I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can learn more about them. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.